Cash account or a margin account? What's the difference in which type of account should you use? First, let's talk about margin accounts, some of the pros that come along with them and some of the things that you should make sure that you have if you are trading a margin account. Now, first, one of the most popular things that people think of when they hear the word day trading is this pattern day trader rule or the requirement that you have to have more than $25,000 in your account in order to day trade more than three times in a rolling five day period, AKA three day trades a week, right? In order to be able to trade a margin account and be able to day trade more than three times a week, yes, you do need over $25,000 in that account, right? And it needs to maintain above $25,000. Now, different brokers will have different rules on their maintenance levels. For example, if interactive brokers, the second you drop below 25,000, you cannot trade for the rest of the day. On Thinkorswim, TD Ameritrade, it is a trailing drawdown, so to speak, at the end of the day. So you could go beneath 25, but as long as you close above it the next day, you will be able to day trade. So from broker to broker, it will vary in terms of what you are able to do with that $25,000. However, as long as you are above it, in a standard margin account on any US-based regulated broker, which is the only type of broker that you should be using to trade off of, you will be able to day trade if you have more than $25,000 in that account. But Jay, I don't have $25,000. I'm a college student. I'm working really hard right now. I just got out of school or I'm a little bit older. I've been saving, but I don't have the cash. Whatever the case may be, no worries. I too, when I first started trading, did not have $25,000 and felt very pinned down by this margin account rule, which leads us to the second account type out there, which is a cash account. A cash account is different than a margin account in the sense that you are buying and selling things with settled cash in that moment. The real difference between the two is that with a margin account, when you purchase something, buy and sell it back and forth, back and forth, you are doing it and the broker is essentially loaning you the funds to continue to trade over and over again. On a cash account, you are only able to use that cash once that day before you can no longer use it again, right? Essentially, it has to do with settlements and when that cash settles. Over $25,000 in a margin account, that cash will settle instantly. Under $25,000 or any type of any amount in a cash account will not settle instantly. So for example, let's say that you have a $1,000 cash account, right? Like we just mentioned, there is no pattern day trader rule applying to that. So in theory, you can day trade as many times as you want with that $1,000. The only stipulation behind it is that you cannot use more than that buying power of $1,000 that you originally had available. So if you start with $1,000, you take one trade using that entire $1,000, and then close the position, that cash will not be available to use again until the next day if you're trading options or two days later if you are trading shares, right? However, if you were to have a $1,000 cash account and enter a trade using $100, right? You would then actually be able to close that position, wait, and enter another day trade later that day with another $100. You could do this a total of 10 times in that one individual given day before you would be running out of cash to use on the day, so to speak, right? So this is one of the biggest myths is that people believe that in order to day trade, aka make round trip trades, buying and selling four or five times a day, you have to have over $25,000 and you have to have a margin account. That is not true. You can make 10 day trades in a day on a cash account. You just have to manage how much of your account you are using on each position. Spoiler alert, it's actually good risk management practice for you to be doing this anyways, right? So at the end of the day, you shouldn't be using your entire account in positions anyway. So cash accounts are often the way to go, especially if you are starting out as a newer trader, right? Now, one of the other biggest benefits that I will talk about when it comes to margin accounts, however, is more advanced styles of trading. When it comes to cash accounts, you are going to be relatively limited to just trading shares themselves or when trading options, you can buy calls and puts or, and sell those called like sell your position, your open positions. You cannot run more advanced option strategies 
on a cash account. Now, I personally do not run more advanced option strategies on a regular basis. That's not part of my approach to making money as a day trader. However, I have a ton of friends that do it on a regular basis. And in order for them to make the trades that they do, aka credit spreads, covered calls, iron condors, debit spreads, those will require a margin account in order to trade those types of positions. So if you're a small account trader out there and you're looking for the best of both worlds, what I would recommend you do is open up a few different account types. I would open up first a cash account that you can day trade with and set yourself some strict risk management principles to ensure that you don't run out of cash on any individual given day and you truly can day trade unlimitedly. In addition to that small cash account, what I would open up is a second margin account on the same or a separate broker, it does not matter, and on that second margin account, that will allow you to use more advanced strategies. Even with a small account, you can start to use debit spreads or credit spreads, which will allow you to participate in swing trades as a small account trader, which is often one of the biggest things that small account traders struggle with. A small account generally isn't conducive to swing positions as swinging options overnight is highly volatile and can be very risky. But if you use a debit spread in order to take that position, you can dramatically lower your risk. One of the other reasons that I recommend you keep a cash and a margin account is separation of church and state, so to speak. If you are somebody who does day trade and swing trade, I would recommend you have separate accounts. That way, if you have a swing trade that goes wrong one day, it doesn't fully affect your mentals and puts you at a disadvantage to start the day on your day trading account. You can approach your day trading account with a completely fresh mindset and ensure that you are not carrying over the emotions of the swing trade onto your actual screen as you are watching it in your day trades. So with it, I hope that you have been able to decipher what is the right account for you that you can use as a day trader or an aspiring day trader in the stock market. If you have any other questions about cash accounts or margin accounts, let us know down in the comments and we'll be happy to help answer any questions that you have. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.